Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Aries. I want to apologize again for the video cutting off when it did. Uh, where we left off in the crystal was that there was a roaring lion behind you uh, that you were praying or the representation of you. And with the lion appearing roaring, the Bible passage of the devil goes around looking for someone to devour is what came to mind. But this girl in the crystal represented, you know, your faith. You continue to pray even though your enemies are behind your back trying to cause problems. Um, with the mountain lion can sometimes represent a female. So there could be possibly a female that is one of the enemies. Uh, the lion representing uh, a demonic energy, you know, being the devil. And the other image of the tiger that wanted to come in. So with the tiger, just for a message for someone out there. A tiger could represent sometimes swindle. So, you know, be aware of people that are trying to like scam you out of your money. The tiger also symbolizes you having the power to overcome this, you know, the strength. So you can make the decision whether or not it happens. You're in control of the situation. Um, with your faith and your belief in God, you know, your belief in Jesus, uh, the Virgin Mary, your prayers, you know, you are going to aggravate some people you know especially if they are of the opposite beliefs of you where they're coming you know from a demonic energy where they want to attack you and you know prosecute you and slander you you know like the prophets before you so this card is representing that but you know continue to be in your prayer because the the girl in the crystal is very peaceful and it didn't interrupt her serenity you know so with the sage stick coming out it's also letting you know to cleanse your home, cleanse your energy from these people's like bad thoughts, their negative energy, you know, uh, this demonic energy that is trying to surround you because the closer you are to God, the demonic energies will try to attack you. So it's letting you know to cleanse your space, cleanse your home and, you know, just your environment and, you know, just light some sage. And when you do that, say a prayer to God for protection and also leave a window open a crack to release the negative energy. Um, you know, so it's just letting you know to... Continue to stand by your faith and just know that your enemies are around you, but you are being blessed by God. And, you know, it's some people will go after you for, you know, believing in, you know, Jesus, you know, and a lot of people, even some readers out there, you'll hear them when they talk, you know, they won't even say, you know, the name Jesus because they don't want to, you know, offend anyone. And when that happens, you know, the line's going to be, you know, drawn somewhere you know because when people are afraid to say the name of jesus when jesus comes he will be the one to say that he doesn't you know know us because we were ashamed to say we knew him so you know just putting it out there but i'm saying you know you are you're saying you're you're keeping to your faith and even though your enemies are surrounding you i don't see them actually being able to physically touch you you know they're just kind of in the background taunting all right let's get into your reading First card to come out for you is the Ace of Cups, so that's a beautiful energy there for you. You're having this happiness, this joy, this abundance overflowing for you here with the Ace of Cups. Next card out for you is the Six of Swords. So with the Six of Swords being here, you know, you're moving past negative energies. And once again, I'm just kind of zooming in here on the, the back of this person here on the boat. You're not paying attention to all the negative things like the girl in the crystal. You know, you're just moving forward. You're focusing on your peace. Next card out for you is the Nine of Cups. So with the Nine of Cups being here, this is you receiving your wish fulfillment. Dreams coming true here with the Nine of Cups. Next card out for you is the Ace of Swords. So this is truth. This is clarity, you know, coming in for you. And also, you know, also to represent the Word of God is truth and nothing is sharper than the Word of God. So you have the Ace of Swords here. So lots of clarity is going to be made known to you. And I feel like your enemies are going to be revealed to you as well. Next card off for you is horsetail, higher self. You're connecting to your higher self. You're connecting to your soul. You're connecting to, you know, your celestial being of being connected to God. And with a horsetail, higher self, it symbolizes being connected to the stars. In some beliefs, they believe that we come from the stars or that we are made up of the stars. So you could also feel like the uh, changes of the planets. Uh, you know, you could feel the pull with the astrology signs because you're so connected to it. You know, even perhaps having a higher sense of it even more than others where you could feel like these astro, you know, astral planes, you know, and feeling the changes of everything. Um, the horsetail also symbolizes, you know, being connected to quartz crystal. So perhaps that's something that you need to start carrying on you or have around your home. Quartz crystal symbolizes, you know, the opening of your third eye, you know, and having that in your home could also be another uh, 
another thing to help clear out negative energies. Um, the horsetail has lots of medicinal benefits. The horsetail on a micro level can be the same ingredients as a quartz crystal. So they're very similar to each other. The horsetail has the medicinal benefits of helping with the urinary tract system, um, helping with and maintaining bones, hair, nails, as well as helping with connective tissues and helping with joints. It also helps form collagen and it has, uh, you know, lots of uh, medicinal benefits when it comes to the skin. <coughs> Excuse me. So all in all, I see a very positive reading here for you, Aries. I see you being blessed and I see, you know, your enemies, you know, they might be surrounding you, but I don't see them actually being able to physically touch you. You know, so just keep on um, connecting with your higher self. Keep connecting to God and meditating and know that God is going to bless you in the presence of your enemies. All right, Aries, if this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.